How's it going guys? This is Double Wide 6. Today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about my Contour Roam camera. Um, if you're watching this video you probably kind of know what this camera is. It's a, a helmet cam uh, used for action sports and things like that. Well my idea was I was going to use my Contour Roam to do some small engine work and record the videos and basically put them up on YouTube. Uh, the nice thing about using a camera like this is that you don't have to hold it. Um, so they make a head mount. This is not the one they make. I actually made this myself, but you know I didn't feel like spending 30 bucks, so I just made my own. But it works real well as far as holding the camera. So anyhow, I'm making this video for people that want to see how well this camera can actually zoom in when you're doing detailed work. Now this that I'm filming with is not my contour camera and you can see I have the ability to zoom in and zoom out. With the contour you're not able to do that. Also you'll notice I'm going to switch over to my contour. The contour camera that I got the sound does not work. Apparently it's a pretty common issue. So I'm in the process of getting a new camera from contour themselves. They were nice enough to fix the problem now that I bought this camera that doesn't work. So you might notice the sound quality is going to be pretty bad in the video. So we'll take a look at the contour video and then I'll come back with this camera and we'll conclude this video. But hope this helps those of you that are interested in buying the contour for something like this. Okay, so now we're recording. This is a little flashlight, so I'm just trying to give you an idea of the type of detail you'll have with this 1080 camera. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it apart and show you each of the parts and you can take a look at them and see how clearly you can see them. Alright, there's a little spring on there and a handle. There's some other stuff. This actually has three batteries. Now let's see if you can read that. This thing says Legion. That's the type of battery. Legion, Legion. And it kind of looks like that. So that'll give you an idea. The camera is about 18 inches away from this flashlight. And I'll show you, you know, hopefully you can see what I'm doing because this is the type of stuff that I'll be doing, you know, trying to do small engine work. If you're a surgeon, you might be doing, you know, close up work like this as well. I wouldn't expect you to be able to read the date. And then lastly, we have a tape measure, which you're pretty familiar with. This is about a half inch wide. And you can see from the camera to the tape measure is 22 inches right there. And you can see if you can read those numbers. And it says Stanley Power Lock 12 foot. So that gives you an idea of how close up things look. And I'm going to turn my head and kind of show you around a little bit. So you can kind of see what it looks like from our perspective one thing to keep in mind I'm in my basement so the lighting's not super great but it is nighttime so I don't really have good access to light alright so now I'm gonna go back to my other camera and sum this up alright guys so the bottom line is at least in my opinion the contour roam is not nearly as good a quality as a regular 1080 camera that you can zoom in and out for for close-up work um, it's also hard to know exactly where you're filming because there's no sight on the camera to see exactly what the camera is seeing so um, you know I think the camera is so-so for doing this type of filming up close and showing detailed images like surgery or if I was working on you know taking apart a carburetor and trying to show everything up real close uh, you know it's it's kinda hard maybe a little bouncy compared to a tripod so hopefully this helps some of you out deciding if uh, the Contour Roam would work for this type of footage so thanks for watching